Hi, welcome to the spoiler alert. Before we start, let's click like and subscribe to support this channel. On this occasion, this video will discuss the Mean Girls movie. The film begins with a girl named Katie Heron, where Katie is 16 years old homeschooling in Africa and moving to North Shore High School in America because of her parents' job. At school, Katie meets a new friend named Janice and Damien, and they warn about several groups at school, one of which is the Plastic. Its members consist of Karen Smith who is the dumbest member. The second is Gretchen Wieners who is a member who is rich and knows everyone's gossip, and the last is Regina George who is the Queen Bee among other members. Then Janice gave the cafeteria map to Katie to find out which seat to sit because it was said to be crucial. The Plastic met Katie in the cafeteria and got to know Katie. The Plastic seems a little interested in Katie and invites her to eat together every day. Because Janice hates the Plastic, and so Janice planned to spy on and prank Regina for revenge. Finally Katie is willing to join the Plastic. In math class Katie meets a man and begins to take an interest in him. Katie, there are several conditions that need to be fulfilled. If someone doesn't follow the rules, they can't sit with the plastic. Then Katie told Karen and Gretchen that they had a crush on someone named Aaron Samuels and they told them it was Regina's ex and promised to keep it a secret. Katie went shopping and also visited Regina's house. And there is a book called Burn Book which is a collection of photos of students at school but commented on for fun. Katie tells this to Janice. And Janice suggests stealing the book to tell the badness of the plastic. When Regina finds out that Katie likes Aaron, Regina is willing to help Katie to approach Aaron. Katie also began to approach Aaron because Regina allowed it. Aaron also invites Katie to come to a Halloween party held by his friend. Katie doesn't know that there is a slut rule that makes women dress to attract men's attention. Katie appears in a scary costume. And finally Katie found out that Regina teased Aaron because Regina kissed Aaron and got back with him. Seeing this, finally Katie's intention to take revenge is getting bigger. Katie carries out her mission, which is to make Regina lose Aaron by stating that Regina is cheating on him, then making Regina spotty and fat, and finally breaking the plastic's friendship. Over time Katie also looks like a change and looks like Regina. Katie pretended nothing happened, and Gretchen said Regina had tried but Aaron wasn't interested. Regina continued to make out in front of Katie on purpose. Katie began to take revenge by giving a face cream containing foot cream. Then Janice began to think about breaking the plastic's friendship. Starting with Gretchen, it creates a misunderstanding that Regina is upset and doesn't give Gretchen candy. Gretchen was disappointed and accidentally revealed Regina's secret. The climax was when Gretchen was asked to switch positions at the winter show to dance to the song Jingle Bell Rock. Gretchen made a mistake, kicked the radio and almost ruined their show. Katie saves the event by starting to do a cappella. Gretchen continues to reveal Regina's secret to Katie, and Katie finds out that Regina is cheating on Aaron. So Katie tries to make Aaron know that Regina is cheating on him in various ways. And Katie gave Regina chocolate and told her it would burn her carbs and lose weight. Katie also feels one-sided hatred with Regina but wants to make Regina to like her. Katie was in the makeover and it made her famous and changed. Katie started trying to get Aaron back by lowering her math scores. So Katie asks Aaron to teach her, but when they kiss, Aaron feels it's not right and stops. Katie gets annoyed and finally tells Aaron that Regina is cheating on him. Then Katie manages to destroy Regina's relationship with Aaron. Furthermore, when Regina wanted to buy clothes for the Spring Queen event, Regina looked fatter and said that the food that Katie gave didn't work. One day at the end of math class, 
Ms. Norberry said that Katie didn't have to drop her grades to get a boy. This made Katie upset and took it out on the plastic and they suggested writing down her frustration on burn book. Katie continues to try to sabotage the plastic's relationship, this time by fueling them on the phone. Regina looks very messy, her face is not as smooth as it used to be. This led to criticism from Gretchen and Karen. Regina also said that the rule was not real, then caused a debate, until Gretchen kicked Regina off the table. Eventually this makes Katie the new queen bee, and plans to make a home party by lying to her parents. Janice and Damien notice Katie's change and start to distance herself from Katie, saying that Katie is a liar and they fight. Finally Katie's lie about the chocolate is revealed and Regina is furious. Taking revenge by slandering Katie over burn book and reporting it to the principal and spreading its contents to the entire school. The plastics were called one by one to the principal's office. The school atmosphere was chaotic and uncontrollable. The principal broke the fire alarm and gathered all the students in one place. Katie is also suspected because all the evidence points to her. Ms. Norberry who is wise and clever on this matter intelligently makes all students express their anger. Starting from acknowledging the gossip that was made, and apologizing in public. Jamian also reveals all of Katie's secrets in front of all the students from breaking up friendships, making Regina fat and spotty, and breaking up with Aaron. Katie also chased Regina in front of the school and suddenly Regina was hit by a bus and rushed to the hospital. There were many rumors circulating. One of which said that Katie pushed Regina on purpose. This makes Katie's parents disappointed and Katie is shunned by everyone. Then besides that, the school continued to investigate the burn book. Katie also admitted who wrote it. Ms. Norberry thanked Katie for the police came to her house looking for drugs and also for being honest about her actions. Aaron also heard it and appreciated Katie. Katie also apologized to Ms. Norberry for her previous actions. Ms. Norberry forgave her as well as punishing Katie by taking part in a math competition. Everyone prepares for the Spring King and Queen election. But that day coincided with the day of the math competition so Katie would be hampered from coming there. Katie also won the competition and went back to school, but at that time Katie met her parents and they told Katie to go home and suddenly Katie was called and crowned the Queen of Spring. Katie apologized to everyone for her actions so far. Katie said that why did everyone want the crown when they all tried their best and Katie broke the crown and distributed it to everyone. And finally Katie's relationship with Janice and Damien is getting better and her life after that is getting better. After that Regina recovered and was able to do sports. Karen also performed her special talent by making a weather announcement, Gretchen also got a suitable group and became Queen Bee. Katie also changed from homeschool jungle freak then became the most hated person and became an actual human being. Moral message. Be yourself in life and learn to respect others more. Appearance doesn't really matter. Because the most important thing is to stay humble. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.